Hello everyone, I'm Tim Bearden, Chief Academic Officer at Detroit Country Day School. And here we are in week three of our remote learning transition. And I wanna offer you some updates about what to expect in the coming weeks and months and what we've learned so far in this experience. But prior to doing that, I wanna say thank you. Thank you to our community, to our families for their support of our school and our students. Uh, we know that many of our family members are healthcare professionals, service professionals, and are on the front line of heroically working to keep people safe and healthy um, and to meet the needs of members of our community. We also know that um, that takes a toll on your families and, uh, and our kids, and, and we recognize that. We're trying to be as flexible and adaptable as possible, but we want to thank you. And thank you for your sacrifices and your support, and most importantly, your partnership with Country Day. I want to share with you a little bit about what we've learned and where we're headed. Um, over the last three weeks, we've uh, really made a remarkable transition in a matter of just a couple of days, moving our entire program online. And so in, in doing that, um, we could not have made instruction possible without a learning management system. So fortunately, we have the learning management system Canvas in place. I want to share with you what's available to you as a parent um, in using Canvas. So we have this Canvas parent introduction page, which I've written to you about previously. Um, the remote learning button in the center takes you through some very important resources um, that you can access as a parent. There's some philosophical stuff, um, underpinnings of remote learning and some of the things that we've used to base our decisions for delivery models. And then um, some kind of description of the framework at each level and workflows that you can access in ways that you can use to support your, your children. Um, for you as a parent, a lot of resources here and you can click your way through these one module at a time um, and you'll find uh, just a wealth of information to move forward. So really encourage you to, um, to access that site. In this process, um, we've really tried to balance asynchronous and synchronous learning. Asynchronous learning is learning which takes place on the, on the learner's own time and that's the typical format of remote learning, um, where students are given recorded lectures and lessons, um, recorded video, links, materials that they then use to work their way through, um, apply them to problems or issues, and then they go to their teacher for feedback. Synchronous learning is learning that takes place simultaneously and it's live learning, um, where all participants in the learning experience are on at the same time. We found it's really important to balance both of those, Although asynchronous learning is the environment for most digital learning, um, it's not an environment that necessarily works great for younger children all the time uh, or for even high school age children. Uh, we wanna have connections with our kids. Teachers miss their kids, kids miss their teachers. And so we've tried to balance both of those things within the technological capacity we have and within the time constraints that people and families have, also recognizing that we wanna try to reduce screen time anytime we can. So in this environment, you're gonna see a balance in both of those. Uh, we're gonna see tweaks as we move along. In the middle school, we'll be sharing, uh, Mr. Jenkins will be sharing some work they've done at the end of this week with their families for how they're gonna change slightly to have more teacher face time following spring break, but those are important elements. Assessments um, are something that um, is a constantly evolving kind of measure for us of where our students are. The online environment doesn't lend itself to the kind of typical tests and quizzes we use. So you're gonna see more authentic assessments, assessments of application, where students apply things that they've learned to presentation, video, papers, um, a variety of different formats in order to demonstrate mastery to their teachers. And that's a great exercise in experiential authentic learning when the assessment becomes a learning experience itself. Thirdly, communications. Um, we've tried to communicate as much as possible what's happening with parents and we're streamlining that so that after break, you can see a pattern to it. Mr. Schilling sent an email out yesterday or Tuesday, and my communications will come on Thursday, either in the form of video or written communication. And hopefully in the future, you won't have to look at me all the time. I'm gonna share some student work um, and we'll show you what um, some things are that are going on. But we're gonna get those things out to you. If there's anything that you need to know or, or understand, please contact me, Mr. Schilling, the school director, and we're happy to work with you to try to make sure you have everything you need. School directors will continue to give specific division level communications to families as necessary. Calendar wise, we know we're in this environment through May 1st. Um, we're awaiting word from the governor as to whether or not physical buildings will be closed throughout the remainder of the school year. But if so, we're prepared to move to 
um, in this online environment for the remainder of the year. Uh, we're ready for it and we think that it's gonna keep getting better and better as a product um, for our students. Most importantly, we wanna keep them on the track that we set for them at the beginning of the school year. So instructionally, we feel really good about continuing to offer our students um, at all age levels, developmentally appropriate curriculum and developmentally appropriate and, and environmentally appropriate instruction. Thanks again for your partnership with Detroit Country Day. We hope that everyone's staying healthy and safe. Um, and we want you to work with us and let us know what support you need. So your feedback is invaluable and we appreciate it very much. Uh, we uh, put the needs of our students first. We're all in this together for them. So thank you for partnering with us and we'll continue on this path to give our students the best possible experience. Thank you very much.